This is the Web Talk Show. My name is Nico Gutier, and today we are talking about a brand new show. It's called Shrinkin. It's available on Apple TV Plus. And today I'm talking to Krista Miller. She's the lead actress. She's playing Liz. And we're talking to the creator, writer, executive producer of Shrinkin. It's Bill Lawrence. And before we start, here's the trailer. What's on your mind today? Like, I want to change, but I'm not particularly open to make those changes. I'm trying. Every time I get rid of one compulsion, another compulsion comes up. Are you yawning right now? Spoiler alert, I feel like I'm stuck. Right. How does that make you feel? Jimmy! Liz! Hey! It's three in the morning. I'm sorry. What's in that bowl? Pretzels. The other bowl. Maybe some painkillers. Maybe? There's painkillers in there, yeah. I have to ask, is this you forever? I don't know. Just a bit, little bit, roll it up, take a hit. Oh, hey, Paul. I'm worried about you, kid. I mean, grieving her. <laughs> You've been numbing. Stop, you're doing sad face. This is just face. I have resting dead wife face. <laughs> he just kept on going on and on about how dumb I am. But he loves me. Your husband is emotionally abusive. He's not working on it. He doesn't intend to. Just leave him. OK. It stars Jason Siegel, Krista Miller, Harrison Ford, Lokita Maxwell, Jessica Williams, Lily Rabe, Luke Tenney, Ted McKinley, so much talented people. And I'm so happy to talk with the lead actress. It's Krista Miller. How and where are you? I'm in Los Angeles, sunny Los Angeles. You know, my mother's German and I'm half German. I don't speak German though, my mother does. But I guess, hallo, wie geht's dir is always in. Yes, and she named me after a German friend of hers. That's a very good choice. Let's talk about shrinking. It's so fucking awesome. And I love the opening scene with you as Liz. Tell us at first, who is Liz? Is she cool or is she a bit? Listen, I think she's super cool, but um, maybe not so much. She, <laughs> I think she thinks she's cooler than she is. So, I, yeah, that's, that's, because uh, look, I, personally, I'm super cool, but Liz. What do you think? Why should people have to watch Shrinking? Oh, they have to watch Shrinking. It's so good because it's so smart and funny and funny in a dark way. And, um, I think it's a really interesting show that people uh, will get a lot out of it and laugh. A lot of laughs. I love so many scenes about, uh, with you. I want to talk about two of them. The first is Jason Siegel, who is awesome in it. He's just He's awesome. He's the best. Is standing in the bushes of your, <laughs> of your house and you have like a little uh, shit chat with him and you're just saying to him, I'm sorry, I have to ask, but is this you forever? Yeah. There's so much heart in it. So was it hard for you to find Liz and the feeling for all the persons among her? No, I, you know, it's weird. My, I feel like um, Bill always, my husband brings together a cast. He, he casts things very thoughtfully and everyone on the show. And I had known Jason a little bit before we started this show. And I, I'm, you know, was in love with him from day one. So I don't, I think everyone in the cast kind of right away got, just went for it. And it wasn't hard to have those feelings for everybody. You had uh, one of the most sexiest guy from the 90s as your TV husband, Ted McGinley, is back. I know. And looks still awesome. And he's fantastic. He's really funny. We love Ted McGinley. So when you heard first about drinking and Bill was telling you about it, did you say, well, I am Liz? Or did he say, I got an idea, you could be Liz? How does that work with you two? Well, actually, it wasn't my husband. It was Brett Goldstein was said to Bill, I'm writing and I'm writing this part for Krista. So I don't know that my husband was like, so <laughs> anything to do with it. And so Brett wrote it. And because Brett had heard about um, my psychiatrist that I've worked with for 22 years named Stutz. And it was kind of inspired by him. Before I tell you my 
beloved scene of you. I will talk about you, about one of the coolest person I have seen in the 2000s. And it was Jordan Sullivan. I love her so much. Oh, thank you. The moment Jordan took over Scrubs, when she <laughs> entered the fucking hall, it was like, what's happening now? <laughs> and it's and I have to say, it's because of you. Also, it's the brilliant writing, but the way you put her, the way she looks, she moves, she does everything. Um, you were one of my most memorable TV characters from the 2000s. What do you feel when you think about Jordan? Thank, I, I mean, it was just so fun. I mean, I, I had too much fun going to work. That it was all the time, like every week it would be something more, <laughs> it was the, the most fun job I ever had. This job has now is topping it, but it's different. I guess everybody is asking you like on daily basis, but are we about to see a Scrubs reunion soon? Uh, I Listen, we all want it. We all had dinner together. You know, we're all still friends. We all had dinner together. And every time we have dinner, we tell Bill, why isn't there a Scrubs reunion? Yeah, I mean, you are the closest person. Huh? You could make the deal here. I'm, I'm going to make it happen, Nico. That is so cool. And Cougar Town was also beloved in Germany. Um, is there something of Ellie Torres still in you or is she gone? She's, she, you don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Ah, okay, we don't know. Okay, then let's talk a, a bit about shrinking a bit more. My most favorite scene is uh, when you're talking to Jason Siegel again and you're saying, Jimmy, Alice is amazing. And before you know it, she's gonna be gone to college and you're gonna wish you hadn't screwed it up so badly that she never wants to come home. And he looks at you heartbroken and said, I think I've may already done that. And then you said it in the perfect way. Oh, well, fuck it then. Get back in the game, dude. It was so Good. How much time did you have for those scenes? We had the, we had the script for a while, but you know when when I always know when um, just when people send scripts and you think you're gonna do um, you're th considering it the 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 scripts that are so well written that you can learn them very quickly are the ones that are really well written. And I noticed with shrinking, even though everyone was kind of, you know, from because your, your brain kind of freezes for a while but from your last job and you have to get that muscle back of memorization and, and shrinking, you would just look at it. I felt I would look at it and I would know the lines already. They were so well written. Can we already now say we're looking forward to season two or is it still a thing nobody knows yet? I don't think anyone knows yet, but I think I think, Nico, I think you should put it out there. We're waiting that you're waiting for season two. I'm so hardly waiting. I want to see Harrison Ford getting back. He's so good. He's so good. Everyone's so good, I think. Indeed. We got Jessica Williams. We got Lukita Maxwell. Lily Rabe is there. I love her so much. Luke Tenney. They are all awesome. So when you are all in the first time in one room, did you felt a special thing or was it yeah. just, hey? Everyone's bringing their A game and... Everyone knows their lines backwards and forwards. I, I, I've just, it's such a blessing to be on a show. Everyone is in it to win it. And it was, you know, you, you, it was exciting to be on set all the time. Every scene, like it never was a drag to work on that show. And there's one scene where you made me cry. Really? Yeah, you did. And it was just one phrase. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a special talk. I don't want to tell too much about it, but you said, or your persona said, um, you said, I'm a mother, but not in a good way. And then you left. It was like, oh, you got me. Oh, thank you so much. That was beautiful. And uh, I'm hoping to see you there again in a lot of other shows too. I hope you still have the mood and the love for acting. I do. I do. Thank you so much for your time and being at the Web Talk Show. Thank you so much, Nico. It's a pleasure to meet you and thank you for your kind words. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye bye. I think I can help people if I get my hands a little bit dirtier. Your mom wanted you to scatter her ashes, right? We know what they should do. Don't you ever want to just shake them? Well, we don't shake them. I take that back. Run, huh? Sounds so unethical. You're just going to burn down your career and take me with you. Coin flip? Get out of here. This is my office. It took you longer than it should have. My patients are really thriving. This thing I'm doing is really working. I'm right behind you! <laughs> Nobody gets through this life unscathed. I can't remember Mom's laugh. I can feel her slipping away. You're faced with a choice. Are you gonna let your grief drown you? Or are you gonna face it? Come through the other side. Oh. It's nice to see you have your spark back.
Bill Lawrence created not only just Trinkin, he also created Cougar Town and Scrubs. And I guess every one of you knows this awesome TV show. And here he is, Bill Lawrence. Bill, you were creator, writer, executive producer of Shrinking. Which part was the one for you with the most fun in it? I love being on a writing staff because even though I try to look very boyish and young, I'm an old man and uh, to be with a bunch of super talented young men and women uh, who kind of make me feel like I'm still relevant and belong and get to hear how they see the world. It's the most fun in the world. I sit around a table and write scripts with those uh, guys and girls all day. I love it. Just between the two of us, is there maybe a chance that you already made wrote some stuff for uh, Shrink in season two, maybe? Mm? The, uh, the easy answer to that is, uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it, but yeah, the writing staff starts work this Friday. Let's talk a bit about Ted Lasso. Uh, is it true that season number three could be the end? Could it be? Uh, I can say uh, about Ted Lasso that uh, uh, <laughs> in, in a good way that that decision um, is stays on the shoulders of our, our fearless leader, Jason Sudeikis. And I know, uh, uh, look, it's a lot of work. They've been in London for a long time. He's been running the show this year. Um, and so I will not uh, get an answer from him any sooner than you do. That's good. And uh, let's jump way back to the past. You wrote sure. also for so many cool TV shows like Friends and also The Nanny. Do you remember the episode you wrote for The Nanny? I don't remember the episode I wrote for The Nanny because I was uh, there for a very short time. I do remember the episode I wrote for Friends because it was the first season and I was actually on staff there. And uh, it was a Valentine's Day episode. I think it was called The One with the Candy Hearts. And All the women burned uh, uh, things from their old boyfriends at the end. Krista just told me that she will talk about you uh, with you about, of course, Scrubs. So can you give any hint? You know, everyone loves it. When I started working in a hospital for a short time, JD got on German television and we both started. It was so cool. That's why. Um, what will happen next, Bill? Oh, you know, the uh, uh, I will definitely, you know, we're, I'm so grateful that I'm asked about it occasionally. I will definitely revisit Scrubs again. I don't work for Disney right now, so it might take a second. But look in 2023 for me uh, to be working with some of the actors and actresses from that show again, because I, I love them so dearly as people. We always find excuses to spend time with each other. Awesome. And we all love it. So what was the part you loved most about Shrinking? For me to start my career working with Michael J. Fox, You know, and being so amazed at Spin City that I could say stuff to this icon and he'd listen to me and say stuff I wrote. I never thought that at this point in my career I would have the same experience to be standing in front of, you know, Indiana Jones and telling him things to say and how to do comedy and stuff. It's so fun, man. I'm the luckiest guy on the planet. Thank you so much for your time, Bill. Take hey, care. Hey, thank you for being so nice, man. It's nice meeting you. Just gonna leave your car here? I'm a white guy in Pasadena. The cops will probably just take it back to my house for me. Must be nice. Derek, how's it going? Just walking the dog I didn't want. My patient moved into her sister's house. Sounds like the day's off to a great start for both of us. Check out Shrinking. It's available now on Apple TV+. My name is Nico Gutierrez. This was the Web Talk Show. See you soon and take care. Mm -hmm.